As a police helicopter bathed the building in light, SWAT teams stormed the front door of the Yahweh's fortress-like headquarters in Liberty City called the Temple of Love. Yahweh members, who all go by the last name Israel, later said members did not resist. Lots of men, machine guns, guns in the face. That's what I saw. It was dark. The sex leader, Yahweh Ben Yahweh, was arrested at the same time by the FBI in New Orleans, where he was on a speaking tour. The 13 Yahwehs arrested are charged with federal racketeering that dates back to the early 1980s, including allegations of murders, a Delray Beach firebombing attack, and extortion. Former Yahweh member Robert Rogier, who was convicted of two of the murders and is suspected of two more, is cooperating with federal authorities. The Yahweh's attorney says it will be Rogier's story against his clients. In exchange for bringing down Yahweh ben Yahweh and the whole Yahweh religion, uh, it, it was agreed that he would be sentenced to 22 years for four murders. The Yahweh's portfolio of business holdings is now believed to total in the millions of dollars. In fact, here in front of the Temple of Love are about a half a dozen white Lincolns and Cadillacs. Part of the federal investigation was aimed at finding out where the Yahweh's got the money. That'll all come out at the trial. Many of those who live near the Yahweh's weren't surprised at the arrests. So bad. It's bad, very bad. It's, it's trouble. It's like they're like against white people. Once they were praised as good business leaders, but tonight the Yahweh's are branded by prosecutors as terrorists who use murder to get their way. In Miami, Red Berkey, Channel 10, Eyewitness News.